Gareth Bateman, played by Jack Pearson, has been a name on everyone's lips since his girlfriend, Freya Wozniak, Phoebe Roberts, turned up on Neighbors at the beginning of the year trying to find him. Ever since Levi Canning, Richie Morris, has taken it upon himself to try and help find the newcomer to the Channel 5 soap and this week's episodes give viewers their first glimpse of him in the flesh. However, what should be a happy reunion soon turns sour as a gun is involved and several characters are left fighting for their lives, but one of them won't be returning to Arinsborough. In this week's set of episodes, Gareth will make an entrance after being spoken about for months as he holds his girlfriend hostage. Freya just so happens to be on a trip to the river bend with some of her friends, who are also caught up in the drama. As well as shooting Levi, Gareth also beats Aaron Brennan, Matt Wilson, to within an inch of his life and it is up to David Tanaka, Taka Yahanda, to try and save his husband's life. Viewers will be left wondering who makes it out of the ordeal alive but as the dust begins to settle by the beginning of next week, all becomes clear. It will be revealed Gareth is the one who has died as a result of being killed but it seems there is more to his death than meets the eye. One person who is particularly affected by Gareth's death is David, who is reeling from what happened and struggles to contain his guilt. The doctor's trauma only worsens when he begins to have memories of the newcomer as it seems he had a part to play in Gareth's death. Someone else who is on edge over the whole scenario is Freya, as it seems she is one of the contenders in the running to be a murderer. She is worried about what the coroner's report is going to say about how her boyfriend ended up dead and she is shocked to learn she will be interviewed again. Knowing David is struggling and he too is going to be interviewed, she reassures him the deceased was never going to make it out alive. Although this was meant to soothe David's thoughts, his guilt is only exacerbated but the outcome of the investigation is yet unknown. Whether or not anyone else also died in the terrifying ordeal is yet to be seen, with it possible Aaron could be dead. If this is the case, this would have given David the motive to kill Gareth as he would have been the one with the beloved character's blood on his hands. The police could begin to put the pieces of the puzzle together and realize David's look of fear is genuine and guilt-ridden. Could this be the end for David if he hands the authorities everything they want on a plate about Gareth's untimely death? Earlier this year, the actor who plays David, Taka Ya, spoke out on the future for his character and he could have been hinting towards him becoming a killer. The soap star said, I don't think anyone would predict what is coming. The audience, like David, are going to be really challenged by what unfolds, he continued in an interview with Inside Soap. Takaya also touched upon working with his co-star Matt, who plays Aaron and how protective the pair are over their character's relationship. He explained, Maddie and I work very hard to create a relationship as solid as Darren's is, and we are very thankful that the couple has been left to approach situations together. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003 question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale. When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Hollyoaks air its first episode? 
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in East Tenders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air David and Aaron don't always agree, but their love for each other is never questioned, Taka Ya continued to explain. I think that is a really positive thing to be putting out into the world," he added so could David resort to murder if Aaron were to die? It would also be the beginning of the end for David if he were arrested as it would be likely the character's journey would end being put behind bars. Earlier this month, it was finally confirmed production on the program would be ending in the summer and the show would be put on rest. Lots of storylines need to be tied up and so sending David to prison and killing Aaron off could be the end of the couple's journey. Taking to the neighbor's official Twitter page, a statement read, We are so sorry to say that after nearly 37 years and almost 9,000 episodes broadcast we have to confirm that neighbors will cease production in the summer. A number of stars of the show have spoken out on their disappointment with the program ending this summer and the venture continues for another British broadcaster to pick it up. At the moment, there is no sign of the show being saved but the doors are being left open for a revival to happen in the future. This has also not been confirmed when it will happen but fans should expect a whole host of familiar faces to make their return for the final episodes.